appear to work out. But this is what we do. So, a lot of sprouting's happened. Again, if you've been watching the cutscene, you will understand a little bit more about why this has happened. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, unluckily. But again, everyone looks pretty in death. Which, I'm not, I don't look pretty in real life anyway, so <laughs> when I'm dead, <laughs> sorry to all. Sorry to anyone that has to see me. Uh, so yeah, we're just interacting with the bodies for now, and then we're like, ah, now nah, screw this then. Let's just uh, and let's just go into the next room because Glottis is gonna sort us out. Um, but there is gonna be a slight little puzzle that we need to achieve here uh, to be able to get out. There he is, old uh, big dick Glottis. Why is everything got to do with dicks in this game? Sorry, just we'll just carry on. So. Um, we need to be messing around with the chains, but it's actually the button on the wall which we need to use. So if you can just get close enough without going too close to the window, like that, it's <laughs> it's slightly annoying. Uh, slightly annoying in, t in terms of reach anyway. So just sort of keep pushing the A button a couple of times and then eventually that will happen. So we need to get the anchor up first and then push it back down. So you actually need to do that. So pull the anchor up and then push it back down. Go onto the controls right here. And then you need to press right on the D-pad. Because it, basically we need the boat to go left. But if you push left on the D-pad, nothing happens. So push right on the D-pad. And then that will make the boat go left. As you can see, just started going. There we go. So that is what we needed. So, uh, press A to exit, then go ahead and go to the opposite side where uh, Glottis is standing. We need to press the red button on there to pull the anchor up. And then we can pull, uh, push that one back down again. So that's important to pull it up and then push it back down again. And then go back to the other side now and use the <laughs> other button. And that'll pull that up. Now we can actually, uh, so the so the anchors, if you've done it correctly, the two anchors should be basically inside each other, uh, <laughs> sort of. So now get out your old big black polished bell end thing, the old scythe, and interact with the chains. Again, of course, using the A button as always. That should pull it in closer together. Come on, Manny, do your thing, honey. Do your thing, girl. And then what that should do then is hook the anchor actually on the boat. So the guys are still uh, standing outside. And then what we're going to do... Oh, put, put, your big, put your big black thing away, Manny. Come on, nobody needs to see that. Go to the other side then. Push the button once again. And now that should rip a big old hole. And look at Glottis' ear going. <laughs> I don't know, that's quite cute on such a giant thing. Anyway, so that is what should happen. So if you've done that correctly, there should now be a big breach in the hull. Hmm? Ship talk, sailor talk. I'm a sailor because I like seamen. And then go ahead, use the controls, press down to the D-pad, and that will get us gone. And now the Ralph Wiggum haircut guy is going to be like, eh, no way. But when we skip the cutscene, or if you're going to watch the cutscene, we're underwater. Now, I thought this underwater part was going to be more of a pain in the ass than it actually was. It's actually relatively easy, so we're always happy with that. <laughs> See? That's true, that is. You lived without your heart. So, all we got to do for this bit, you don't have to speak to Manny here, but we just have to walk into the darkness. And we're going to get probably the cutest character in the whole game. Uh, he's going to start coming along any time now. I mean, I say cute. I mean, you get really happy for him in the end. He seems just like a weird old guy walking around in the water first, but he's a, he's a good guy. So, is everything okay with your eyebrows is the first thing we're going to ask him. Which, never ask a woman that because she will stab you. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, you know. And how long have you been down here? That'll be the second option you need to choose. 
and this is what you need to get for the achievement. The rest, again, you can just smash through the dialogue. Happy days. It does take a, about a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to get through the rest of this dialogue. So, yeah, go nuts. Where'd you get the coral? Edge you loop. That's the only place. What are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Figured it'd make better. Why didn't I think? Shouldn't you have hit dry land? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't. What's the problem with... We had such a... Why is everybody... You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been... Led off course by bad equipment. We started throwing the... What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned to stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only them. And when there's only two of you left. How do you know where you're going? I just keep it on my right. But old is tricky. We've had a little accident. Think you could help? Depends on what kind. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long way. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right. So basically, any other dialogue options that you choose, then you always end up going through this part anyway. So. This is again about a minute to a minute of half. <laughs> this guy's singing. <laughs> it's kind of kind of distracting, but um, basically you're gonna see him. You're gonna see yourselves just go around the boat and then come back. So just enjoy the song for now. <laughs> I kid. Let it shine. Let it shine. Scare away, away sea, sea monsters. monsters yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it scare shine. away sea monsters. Scare away yeah. sea monsters. I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna scare let away shine. sea monsters. Scare yeah. away sea I'm monsters. Let it shine. I'm let gonna let it shine. 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 I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. That's just a trick. Makes everything look the same. Well, this isn't. Oh well, the wet. Could you take us to the pearl? Ha! You, you think so? So then, after that slight bit of entertainment, um, there's just a few more dialogue options left. We're gonna pick. So just pick the first one every time, and we will crack on with El Storo. Tell me you didn't come all this. Could you send for help? Oh shoot! I promised to call for. Well. I don't want to. Okay. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? So the achievement's going to unlock right here, but this is a little timed bit now. So as soon as Chapito walks off to Glottis' side, and as soon as you're able to move, he's going to stop by Glottis. You need to then go up to him and interact with his light. So you'll have to do that quite quickly, um, and then sort of. Uh, press the left D-pad uh, to sort of get him over to Glottis. He's going to pick him up, and then we can move on. If he starts walking off, that's fine. He does a big, massive loop, but again, it's going to take about two minutes for him to come fully back around again. So, obviously, you know, save yourself a bit of time. As soon as he stands by Glottis, just um, go up to the light, interact with it, pick it up, and then we'll move on to this bit. Instead of waiting another two minutes, and you don't have to listen to... I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm not even gonna bother. And this part may look like it could get tricky. <laughs> Luckily, all we're gonna do is a little bit of deceiving. Um, we're gonna be dece we're gonna be deceiving little Chapito right here. Sorry, pal. So head to the right. There's only one path you can go, and you can just see the rock in the distance, and that's where we need to be going. So take a. Take a little walk of mine, 
Take a little walk and shine, let it shine, let it shine. Anyway, here is the rock. You see these little bits of uh, green sticky bits coming out of it. All you need to do is just walk around the rock. Chapito is going to follow you. And Chapito is going to get stuck. They're going to go up his ass and they're going to use him like a puppet. And again, I've left this little bit of cutscene in here just because of his scream is incredible for an old man who's been underwater for a while. Ah, oh, man, I actually feel quite bad for old uh, Chipito now. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, whoops. Anyway, so we'll worry about that later on. We're going to, as we've seen, go forward. We're going to go up the elevator now. We're basically on the edge of the world. We don't know what's going to be happening. Um, this bit looks complicated. It's really not. There's only one path to go, and that's up and to the right. And we're going to actually find a surprise in here. As long as you keep going. Oh! It's Mocho! Now, how the hell did you get you? Although, uh, you know, we, we kind of done our job kind of sh shockingly bad with that. So, this is where she ends up. But, we skip the cutscene, and there's little kids locked in cages, just like in Donald Trump's America. Uh, <laughs> whips. So, you're going to speak to these guys, or these kids even, and we're going to actually make them cry uh, for one of the achievements. So, you say, um, you bite me, and I'll sue your parents. And then they cry, and then that'll be the achievement unlocked. Uh, and for some reason, this one unlocks straight away, so, pff, happy day, job's done. Uh, but as long as you say that, that'll get the achievement unlocked. Then, again, you can just smash through the rest of the dialogue as per norm. Listen, children. There's really not much. Your hands are too. My name is Manny Callum. Mr. Harley, you're the one who tricked me. Poor Matt. I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this. You see, I had this. If I sold enough of them, now I was in a slump and. You're a bad. Go away. Yeah, go. I'm here to help you get out of the- You can't do- We have to stay here! She'd be so- Sometimes we hear- My hands are not too big- Then why- I just don't have any of those little- Here, take- <laughs> <laughs> What are you two do- Making light- Look, we're- Why don't you leave- Mitch is my friend. She talked every time she says you're... I don't know what you did to her. You're two bad little children. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really do... Then why don't... I'm in the Maritime Union. I don't know what those words... It means he does... My butt's too big to sit on. Um, I'm gonna tell I told you he- On second thought, maybe- We don't want to either, but we don't have- I'm the one who's gonna- What? You can't do- Who's gonna- Who will- <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. I'm not so bad at this. I'm here to help you. You can't do it. We have to stay. She'd be so sometimes. Okay, back to work. So. So, whatever happens then, either way, they're going to throw a little hammer at you and make sure to pick that little hammer up in the middle of the room before we leave. It might be hard to see, but Manny is looking at the floor. So again, make sure to pick up the little hammer before we leave. Now, all you need to do is go back to the same room where we found Meche, and we're going to be getting another missable achievement right now. 
And it's basically for exhausting all the dialogue options anyway, so you'll get it. Um, yeah, Manny's starting to get the horn dogs on. Which, she doesn't look too bad for a skeleton. I suppose, if I was a skeleton. I uh, didn't actually mean to do that. I actually tried speaking to her, not smoke another cigarette. So, try speaking to her. Which would be nice. So, um, I think we need to talk. I have a lot of explaining to do. And then that is what will get us the achievement right there. So... Either way, you go through everything anyway, but just make sure that it's obviously always better to just uh, do those two first and then smash the dialogue after. Can't believe you think he's my boss. I think he's your boss. You think we don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relation. I'm sorry I implied he was your Well, I'm not sure I trust you, but I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed or don't try to tell me they didn't issue They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this much money. Why don't you come? So, that'll be the achievement, and what we need to do now is actually perv on Meche. This isn't me just doing this now, this is, this is what you got to do for part of the game, okay? We need to burn her stockings. You can either... What you need to do is obviously turn the ashtray just before she um, dabs out the cigarette. Um, <laughs> Damn, look at them bones, yo. Gets many on her hat and stuff. But yes, so that's what you're meant to do. Move the ashtray as she's about to get rid of some ash. And then she burns, and then we can move on. So now what we need to do is look in the bin. So it just goes from um, being a horn dog to uh, taking a look in the bin. So, yeah, anyway. That is... So when we pick that out of the bin, you can just put that straight in your jacket pocket, you dirty git. Stop looking and leave. Be a perv all your life, Manny, come on. Uh, but you need to go behind Meche. <laughs> we're going to actually speak to Domino. So he, um, as we can see now, come on. There is a Domino, yeah. So he's gone down. He's gone up in the world from going down on $5 hookers. He's going down on $10 hookers now by the looks of him. And so we're coming up to another missable achievement. But all you need to do is literally just pick the top dialogue option, the very first dialogue option, every single time. And he's basically going to tell us all the plans and he's going to say how much of this haven't you figured out and that'll be enough to get us the achievement so just keep blasting out the top dialogue option job done baby but i'm going to train you manny how can you keep little trust me it's easier than keeping why don't you just sprout me like you try to put us up that wasn't me he's so unimaginative just wants but i believe however what makes you think I'm gonna... Well, there's not much to do on this. And think about it. Once I'm gone... Don't tell me that, Prospect. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I... And I have all the... Br what are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret ho- Oh no, that's just- The real purpose is to have a place we can't have good people wandering loose Telling everybody how we stole their double in- You stole all these people- Okay, how much Kapal would root all- I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure- I knew it! You were getting all the good clients! I handled them all, except for Mercedes, which I saw by the way last- I tell you, Manny, hot rod- so it wasn't my fault Meche didn't- Well, it's your fault she ended up, but I fixed that. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, by comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfy. One ticket for you, one for him. Oh, Manny. We never- We sell a ticket to un unable to lead moral lives. But you could just take the tickets and- We found a way to make the land- 
Nice. I yeah, the previous. They scooped out all the coral they could reach, but we knew we had what a Are you about to lecture? No. Slave. That's the real ticket. Well, I got... <laughs> So that was a very long conversation, but we're out now. Uh, Manny's stopping a pervy dilly will get hole. Uh, we can now actually head back down to the elevator and back down onto the ocean floor. But yeah, so Domino's explained everything to us now. Now we're just going to figure a few things out. So we're going to head down from where the elevator are, from where we are in the elevator. We're going to head left. And if you just go all the way to the back, of, way all the way to the back, Look who it is! Rickin' frickin' Chapito, baby! Come on, why am I saying baby so much? Anyway, Chapito's alive! So, I guess it gets to that awkward part, you know, the the awkward apologies of Sorry we left you to die from a, uh... <laughs> from a big old octopus. But, first of all, we're gonna say nice drill straight away. And that is basically what uh, what you need to get the achievement. So as long as you just say nice drill, and then how'd you get a bust all? The rest of the dialogue you can just smash through. But as long as you said those two first, that's what's going to get you achievement. And still, we don't even awkwardly apologise for leaving him to die. So everyone's happy, I suppose. Give me some booty, and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all. You traded jewelry and pr it's a bust. Relax, we're we, we, our soul alone. That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Over, nothing over. If you say so. I want to trade some. Well, you came to the right what you be needing. A gun. Ooh, that, what do you got on you? My turtleneck. Oh, yeah. That is acrylic. No, it's all me. Oh, too bad. Natural fight. I know, I know. When you got something worth trading, you... So, Chupito want Chiquito? No, Chupito need a hammer, which is why we picked up the little hammer earlier on. So, as soon as he gets back, the achievement should unlock for you. And we can now go into your inventory and give him the little uh, hammer. That's going to give us the bust all. Everyone's a winner again. Even though... We've now left him to die, and we've just given him a crappy little hammer. But, he seems to enjoy it, so we can't beat it. So that's all we need to do, we're glad Chapito's alive. And now to get the gun, go back into your inventory, and get the little handkerchief jumper looking thing, whatever that was. Uh, that's going to get us our first sprout gun, and then we can finally move back on. These are words you find? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new... First sprout, is it loaded? No! Hey! Bull is your Oh, rusty anchor! But uh So we are done with Chapito. We've got everything, all the good things he had on him, we've now basically taken for crappier things. So go up, go to the right, not through the elevator, we're going to the right, and just keep walking up, and then you're gonna see uh, this bit of machinery. So we're gonna pull the lever once. And basically what go that's going to do is just uh, make it go the opposite way. Not like we're, you know, messing with the industrial system or anything. So, we're all good with that. And then there's going to be a little gap that you can jump on. We're not actually going back out. So, <laughs> yeah, so don't go back out. There's a little gap between the lever, or just to the right of the lever there. Press the A button, you're going to jump on. And then you're just going to start floating downwards. And if you don't start floating, press up on the D-pad to start going downwards. So there you go, you just see yourself on the right, so press up. I thought he was down, but if you press down, you start going up, so you'll have to press up to start going down. Which again is just annoyingly confusing sometimes. But very, very surprisingly, we're going to jump down this chamber. Look! He's alive! Um, if you've just been skipping the cutscenes, you won't actually know what's going on. But basically, Glottis got thrown off and uh, looked like he died. So... Hooray! Gladys is alive! I gotta tell you, Carnal, I thought you- Oh, Manny! I- 
can. I think this baby's our ticket out of here. Oh yeah, good. I was just wrenching it for fun. I think this baby. Oh yeah, I was just. So now we're gonna have a few minutes of pissing around with chains, which is fine. Because uh, we need to get the boat out so we can get off this friggin' island. So climb back up. And then climb back up. And then go back up and climb back up. And then go back up and climb up. Then climb up and go up. And then climb up and go up. And then eventually we'll get back to this point. So jump back down. Now this bit can be a little bit awkward. Um, just in terms of jumping down and pushing the lever and things. Because Manny obviously needs to look at the correct thing to be able to do it. So push the lever back down. And that will cause the industrial crap to go back up. And then we're actually going to push it back down as well. Um, not sure if that's totally needed, but that was more of a just-in-case thing. But now what we're going to do is jump up on it. It will start bringing you, uh, start taking you down, so just pre keep pressing up on the D-pad, left and up on the D-pad, so you can start climbing up. Lovely. It's a big old, <laughs> it's a big old place, this. Uh, so we're going to start climbing up the ladder now as well, all these steps on the left-hand side. Again, with these sort of tank controls, it can definitely make this little, uh, these little parts a little bit trickier than it needs to be. Press right on the D-pad to go all the way to the other side of the island. There we go. Then you press A to exit. And then we'll, we're going to run all the way down to where the big chain is on the beach. Slap your inventory out, get the bust all out, which kind of looks like an iron or some kind of thing. I suppose it's a drill. Uh, at the top of the drill, use that, and that is going to explode the right side, which is all good. Because it's only the chain that we are after. So, what you need to do is just head back up, and then when you're on the, when, well, uh, once you're on the crane, go all the way back to the left-hand side. And then once we get here, obviously we're going to go back down. And all we're going to be doing then is pressing the lever twice. And that will slap the boat up, go up, and then Glottis and the boat shall return. Gosh, I'm helpful. Uh, you obviously make sure to look at the lever instead of looking up. Because Manny's going to start floating down like douchebag. Floating down like douchebag. Nobody needs it, nobody like it. So eventually, we will get there, we will get there. There it is, so, yeah. so press the lever twice, that'll make the chain start bunching up. Uh, once you press it again, then it'll go back down, that'll be enough for Glottis to whack open his own... Uh, <laughs> whack open his own uh, boat and get it up. So up the ledge, go on up, and then cutscene will appear. Oh, god damn it. See, obviously, try not to get too close to the left-hand side because Manny automatically jumps down, which is freaking annoying as well. So stick to the right-hand side and move up. Go on. I 
can't believe you got... That was the easy... The trick's gonna be busting through that big... Bust through a big... It just so happens I got some hardware up the beach you might be interested in. Oh, yeah. This... Just give me a sec... So, thank... Thankfully, we are now done with this part. We got Glottis. Glottis is gonna go and do his old thing. So, now... We have got to deal with Meche again. We need to try and get her stockings and then keep them ourselves. No, I'm joking. Sorry. No, that was uh, no wrong part of the game. I think that was a porno I saw once. Anyway, we're going to head back down. We don't have, like I said, we don't have to worry about any of this crap now. We are done with it. So finally, we can jump down. Um, make sure to press the lever once again, though, just to get it all spewing back up. You know, just do that, just so that everything's back as normal, and then we can finally move on. So, we need to obviously go and find Meche now. She wants a gun, we've got the gun, that's what we're gonna give her. I thought she wanted something, I thought she wanted something else shooting inside of her. When she said that, I, d I thought she meant Manny's stuff, but she meant the gun, so a bit of a shame, really. But there we go. So, that's when you do get to get the gun out, give it to um, Meche. Of course, if you actually speak to Meche, that will do it. Do you have any idea on a deserted... Hmm, no. Here, what good's a relationship without trust? True, a relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. So, Meche is basically... We've just skipped the cutscene, by the way, but Meche basically just done that whole, I'm gonna shoot you, I will... And then she actually didn't, because that's how it normally goes. Even though in real life, if somebody's keeping you hostage or something, you would you would literally shoot them. You just would. So, this bit's a bit annoying, only because we need to use the drill, and you need to have Manny looking at the right-hand side. Um, and he basically explodes this up. And this is like a... This is like a very small puzzle, but it's nothing too complicated or anything. Make sure to be looking at it. It, it may take Manny to be in a particular at a particular point um, where he'll actually uh, look at the thing. Um, I think if you get too close, he just says, I can't do it. So back away from it a little bit. Sort of get Manny in all kinds of positions. And then eventually, he will look at it and we'll go into first person view. Uh, I'm not sure why it was so finicky, but tis what tis. Ah, right, here we go. So we've finally done this bit. So what you need to do then, all if you turn the steering wheel four times, um, basically that, that means all the four locks will be going. And what we need to do is get a gap on all four locks on the right-hand side. It's, it's easy enough when you have a feel for it and you know what you're doing. But every time you stop and then you start again, only the one will start going. Like I said, when you go twice... The second one will start going, turn the wheel three times, three locks, and then same with the fourth one then. So it's always best then to just start it from the top. So change it four times and then very carefully get a little gap on the right hand side as you can see there, then stop. Then go again, make sure to only get it uh, up to the third lock and then get a little gap on the right hand side. If you think you have missed it, just stop and do it again. So it, it is easy, uh, but as long as there's a little gap there, you are golden nuggets. Alright then, so when you think you've got enough gap on the right hand side, get out your big old black beauty boy and then just uh, interact with the, uh, yeah, interact with it, not the actual wheel of course. That should then smash it up, enabling us to open the door and finally get in. You have to use the handle on the left hand side of course. So for some reason that bit was more of a finicky pain in the ass than it needed to be, but we get in eventually, and now we're like, Hey, Meche, I want to look at your stockings, man. What the hell is you? And then we're like, hmm, damn. So, let's interact with the door now. It's going to close it, and we're going to go, ah, oh, crap. And now we think, how the hell are we going to get out of here? But, of course, we always do, because we are super cute. 
So again, get out your scythe and then interact with the lock, which is just above the door, sort of on the left-hand side there. That's going to open up this secret compartment and Mech is going to be like, Oh my god, I love you again. Oh no, wait, I hate you again. So before actually that you head in, there's going to be an axe the opposite side of this current room that we're in. So you can go in and talk to Mechi if you want, but what we're going to do first is nip out, just go to the other side of the room, and there's going to be a big old heavy axe that we're going to drag in. That is, of course, going to come in handy. Again, I tell you, I don't do things just for a laugh. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a guide, it would be a crappy walkthrough. So pop that down for just a minute. Yeah, all right, man, you don't have to show off there, kid. Yeah. You don't have to show off with this, of course, sir. But what we need to do, uh, you can you can speak to Mesha, you can have a look at the suitcase, uh, I do anyway. But the main thing what we need to do is actually turn on the sprinkler system. So that's what we need to do. So we're going to try and turn it on first with the water valve, doesn't obviously work. You know, it's very nice, very nice, to, very nice that we've got to apologise. Right, okay. So get out your scythy boy again. And then just interact. As long as Manny's looking up, then we can interact with the old sprinkler system. Don't look down, look up, look up, look up, look up. There he goes. As soon as he looks up, that will actually get the sprinkler system to work. And then what we can do is just turn on the water valve, and that will start flooding the room. This is just a plan of Manny's, by the way. Uh, again, you don't have to look at the suitcases, but we do anyway. It's all the double end tickets. Uh, man, he's gonna come up with something. I was a hot salesman, and they move. What do you mean? They become agitated around human souls, and they. But these tickets, dead. Why would Hector and Domino be? So after all the yapping is done, then now we can turn the water valve on the right-hand side, and Manny's plan is to wait for the room to fill up and get on out of there. For some reason, in games and movies it doesn't work, only in crap like Coronation Street and EastEnders, <laughs> for some reason. But Manny's going to turn it off now, and what you need to do is look at where the water actually goes down, like a drain. And you'll see it all go down the sort of white square next to the black one in the middle of the room. So that's where you know there is a big hole. So pick up the axe, move it. Uh, sort of go past where the white square is a little bit and Manny's just gonna slam that that's gonna reveal a hole and Now we can get on out of here. So it's it could have potentially been a complicated puzzle, but hey, I'm always here for you Forget him they wouldn't fit through this. Let's go Galatis, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat all right? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. So we are coming up to the end of year three now. But before we do what we need to do, get out your scythe. And we're going to be getting a missable achievement. And all you need to do is basically just go up to Domino. Um, press the A button as well to interact with it. Sometimes you'll hit him, sometimes you won't, but you need to do this around five or six times until the achievement unlocks, and then we can just crack on with it. So it's going to take a couple of minutes, but just keep going up, trying to hit Dom with his scythe. He's obviously going to back you down because we're pretty pathetic compared to guys who can afford $10 hookers, you know what I mean? Smart. You know, your name is Blaze. Please. Ah. At least at the Christmas. Had enough. Ah. Oh, stop. So there's the last missable achievement of year three. Now all you need to do is actually have a look on the boat. It looks like a camera or the sort of eye of Sauron, but it's not. All you gotta do is hit that, 
and this cutscene will happen. Like, let this cutscene play out a bit, uh, just a little bit, because this bit's fantastic. But then we go into year four. Just enjoy this bit. Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could 